So we've learnt and we've been talking a lot about neutral atoms. And neutral atoms, remember, have the same number of protons as electrons. So the protons equals so equals the electrons. Because protons have a positive charge and electrons have a negative charge. So in a neutral atom, if we have the same numbers of each, we don't have an overall charge in that atom. No overall charge. But what scientists have discovered is that some atoms can actually gain or lose electrons. And after that, we call them ions. And that's the focus for this video. So ions are different forms of an element. with more or less electrons. So here's an example of a neutral atom. This has six protons, so that's element number six, and that's carbon. Carbon is number six, and we've got six neutrons, so that makes it the isotope carbon-12. And we can count there's six electrons as well. Six electrons. So here is carbon when it's stable. Sorry, when it's neutral. Let's look at a few examples though, where we can get ions now. So with carbon, if this carbon lost one of its electrons, suddenly we now have, we still have our six protons, but now we only have five electrons. So overall, the six protons are giving us a positive six charge, and the five electrons in total, they add up to a negative five charge. So just like in maths, if we have positive six and we're adding it to negative five, overall we have positive one. So suddenly this carbon atom has a positive charge and it's become an ion. And the way we write charge on an ion is with a little positive or a negative symbol at the top right. This is showing a positive 1. If it was positive 2, we'd write 2 plus, 3 plus, and if it was negative, we'd do a minus, two minuses, and so on. So carbon actually doesn't make ions very readily, but a couple of other, or most other elements, they like to make ions. So what we'll do is we'll look at lithium next. Remember lithium's element number three, and it's got a mass number of six. Lithium is actually down here in our picture. So here's lithium. Lithium usually makes a positive ion. So to make a positive ion, it loses one electron. So just like before, we've lost a negative charge. So overall, we have a positive one charge. 
on this lithium. And what we've discovered about ions is that the atoms become ions so that they can become stable. And we figured out that stable actually means that they have a full outer shell of electrons. So the outer shell is the shell furthest away from the nucleus. And remember, that's where the highest energy electrons are. And we figured out that if that shell is holding its maximum number of electrons, then that atom is more stable and it won't react with anything else. So for the first shell, For the first shell, it can only hold two electrons. So if the first shell is the outer shell, it will hold two electrons. So we can say number of electrons in the outer shell. So the first shell can only hold two. The second shell, remember, it can only hold eight as its maximum. And eight is actually the magic number. So other than the first shell, every other shell, when it's an outer shell, can only hold eight electrons. So we can say the outer shell it's full with eight electrons. It's like the magic number of chemistry. Every atom's aiming to get those eight electrons in their outer shell. So let's look at an example with oxygen down here. We can see oxygen has in its neutral state, it's got two, four, six, eight electrons. And oxygen is number eight. It's number eight. It's got a mass of 16. And it has eight protons and eight electrons. So looking at the diagram, we can see it has the first shell that's full, and the second shell, it's holding six electrons at the moment. So six electrons in the outer shell, but the goal, remember the goal is to get to a full outer shell. And at the moment, the outermost shell is the second shell and the second shell can only hold eight so we're aiming for eight and the easiest way to get to eight in the outer shell is just to gain two electrons so oxygen here is going to gain two electrons and that now puts it to 10 electrons. So if we're adding our charges, we've got positive eight, and now we've got negative 10. So overall, if we add our positive and negative numbers together, that gives us negative two charge. So oxygen, now with our two extra electrons, we're going to write it as an ion with two minus as the charge. So that's called the an oxygen ion and ions have a special name 
we make them end in IDE. So that's actually oxide. Okay, so there's only two more words to define to do with ions. And these are cations and anions. Cations, nothing to do with cats or fur. These are just positively charged ions. So the ions that we saw before, we had lithium, that's a cation, and this carbon, all these carbons that are positively charged, we call those cations, and anions, they're negatively charged ions. So, atoms try to get a full outer shell by gaining or losing electrons, and we call these ions.